In case you haven't heard this, Sofia Vergara and Joe Manganiello are getting a divorce. That's not interesting, really, because that happens all the time in Hollywood. But the rumors that are coming out about why they are getting a divorce, friends are speaking out, are actually quite culturally significant. The first thing, you know, a couple of weeks ago, I opened up to you guys about how I, I'm just not a drinker. I'm not a consumer of alcohol. I don't get drunk on the weekends. I don't get drunk ever, really. Um, and the reason why I share that with you is because I wanted to sort of give people the permission to say no to alcohol in a culture that seems to celebrate it so much without passing any judgment. Well, I, unbeknownst, unbeknownst to me, I found out that Joe Manganiello is, has actually been sober for a really long time. People are leaking that part of the reason that they got divorced is that their lifestyles were too different because Sofia Vergara very much likes to drink and very much likes to party. And it kind of called into this question whether or not relationships can work if you have a sober partner and the other person is not sober. Now, to be clear, they said that Sophia was very support I mean, that Sophia was very supportive of his sobriety. It wasn't like she was trying to lead him back into drinking. But psychologists have sort of leaned in and said that in these environments, when somebody is trying to keep their sobriety, it doesn't tend to work. That eventually the partner has to either rise to the level of saying, I'm going to be sober with you, or the relationship falls apart. The second piece of why they are saying that they got a divorce is because he really wanted to start a family and she wasn't interested and it caused a rift. And why that was interesting for me is because it's not the first time that Sofia Vergara has been in a relationship where at root of the problem of why it fell apart was this topic of having children. And in case you didn't know this. She, she used to be engaged to somebody for a long time named Nick Loeb. And Nick Loeb and her are still fighting it out in the courts over the embryos that they came together to make. So just in case you're not familiar, obviously, with how IVF works, you can just freeze your eggs, but it's very unlikely that your eggs will survive on their own unless you create a full embryo. So they came together, her eggs, his sperm, and I don't know how many embryos that they have, but they've been locked in a seven-year legal battle because he is apparently pro-life and he is suing the Beverly Hills Reproductive Center where they created those initial embryos because he wants them implanted. He's looking at these embryos as these are my children. And Sofia Vergara says, like, we're not together anymore. I want these embryos, my our children, to be destroyed. It's a huge ethical question when we start talking about the topic of science being used to create children. These are things that people don't like to talk about because it makes them uncomfortable because we constantly want to think about IVF and surrogacy as always just helping people start families. When in reality, there are these tremendously deep, complex issues that arise. What, whose side are you on here? Do you say, oh, no, it's totally fine. She's right. It would be weird if her eggs were implanted into another surrogate, which is what Nick Loeb wants. He wants a chance for his children to survive. Again, that's quite pro-life. But then you say, well, for Sophia, that's uncomfortable. Well, for Nick, it's uncomfortable for her to just destroy them and to say, I don't care that we have these children that are frozen somewhere. I just want them killed because you and I are no longer together. It's a, it's a dark, really a dark consideration. And I was just interested to kind of bring that to the forefront to see what you guys think about it and whether or not me talking to you about all of these ethical issues that are arising with IVF and surrogacy has struck a chord or has it transformed you? Are you aware of all of these things that are going on? If you like this video, you are going to like the full episode even better. You can find it by clicking right here.